Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And how do you know that the president is in trouble? Well, he doubles down. Now he wants three trillion dollars in new taxes, and the Republicans are getting ready to cave. Who's in trouble? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you would think so because they're all talking about the president. That the president now has the Republicans on the run with his increasing the demands for more new taxes. You know, he started out at 800 billion. Now he wants three trillion. And uh, as one of the people said, actually one of the, uh, Joseph Lieberman guys said, he said, "You know, the president is on the run. Anytime he doubles down, he knows he's losing. He doubled down twice now." He's went from 800 billion to 1600 billion, now to 3.2 trillion. That's doubling down every <coughs> few days because he knows that uh, that they're going to the Republicans are going to give him 800 billion in revenue enhancement, and they're going to they're going to get it turned down. And when they get it turned down, they said, "Well, we're, we we play Pontius Pilate. The president is responsible. We gave him exactly what he campaigned on, and he said it wasn't enough." Mm -hmm. And he also pointed out the fact that we did not, Joseph Lieberman pointed out, the Republicans didn't get elected to support the President of the United States. They got, they were kept the House in order to stop the President of the United States, to put brakes on him. So, and he said, most of the people out there don't understand that, that the Republicans actually won the election, the Democrats didn't. They control the, they control almost, they control two-thirds of the Houses or Senates in all the states, and they totally control 35 of the governorships in this nation. The, state, the country is red, except in the inner cities where the president won. And Sony is at greater risk than Panasonic in electronics downturn. Well, yeah, because the, Sony has done nothing right. You know, uh, they basically okay. Say Free Fall is the only movie that's done well, and I'll guarantee you that movie's not doing. Okay, here's the statistics: is a movie that loses two thirds of its audience week after week is not doing well no matter what they're saying. Two-thirds drop-off is a disaster in the entertainment industry. So they're padding the figures and they basically, they, they, they can't, uh, nobody, okay, here's a Sony. They can't get people to buy these things today because they're too expensive. And they, they used to have, people would have six television sets in their home today, they have one because mm -hmm. people didn't want to pay the difference for the high-def sets. And now they're, they're making another brilliant move they're putting the cart before the horse once again. They didn't have TV sets to show their Blu-rays, uh, Blu-ray players on, so they created Blu-ray players that didn't have any Blu-ray to show on it, and no player and no TV to put it on. Now they've created a brand new player to show 4K, that so they can show The Hobbit, which is made by Warner Brothers, on television sets that don't exist. That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh -huh. yeah. And the, will will the U.S. role at climate talks change after the storm? Oh, oh yeah, uh, what happened is, oh, oh, he says, little Herbie Daddy, he says Obama's going to give him the short shock. I mean, he basically, he's prepared, well, the United States is bad, we're evil, we're responsible for hurricanes. No, you understand, know, that that's hurricanes, it's called a hurricane. They've been doing this since God knows how long. It's natural, hurricanes come up the coast, sometimes they don't pound into the south, sometimes they go all the way northward. and and. Global warming had nothing to do with it being winter and a winter storm hitting at the same time a hurricane did. That's called Mother Nature at work. Extreme weather are tough on the transportation system. Yeah, because once it takes the, it takes the bridges out, <laughs> once the bridges is out, and the problem is, is most of our infrastructure was built uh, 60 years ago when, there were, when they didn't have union problems and it didn't cost a billion dollars a mile to do it. Right now they're saying, to tackle the infrastructure problem in our nation, this is from the road engineers, run six trillion dollars just to start the process rolling. You couldn't get a hundred billion dollars in order to work on the roads in this country at the moment. There's no money. And Qatar set to host major climate talks. I know, uh, because uh, that's where you want to hold climate talks is in a country that's basically hot as hell in the middle of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, they remember they held the climate talks in a place where nobody could get to because it was winter and the winter storms kept everybody from coming. And the Galapagos tortoise can be revived. Oh yeah, I mean, okay, it's the same way, okay, we'll put it understand. Monty is a, a Wheaton short-coated short terrier, Wheaton terrier. 
Wheatons are responsible for the Kerry Blue being brought back after the Kerry Blue was almost extinct. And they said, well, how is that possible? Well, they basically used the Wheatons to carry the Kerry Blues. And basically, they re-managed to, uh, you know, they re they didn't, didn't mate with the Wheatons. They just, they did embryonic transplants. And they created, recreated the Kerry Blue over again. They're looking at using artificial insemination of turtles of similar species to re-inhabit the Galapagos Islands with the original turtles again because there are enough turtles left in captivity because they've been for three or four hundred years that they can rebreed the whole thing and replace it. But the problem isn't mankind, it's rats. They got a hundred million rats on that island. Ooh. Yeah, they got they're trying to mass extermination of the rats, and then when the rats are gone, then they can try it again. Man didn't it, <coughs> Man did not bring the rats. Ships wrecked, and the, and the rats came ashore from ships wrecking hundreds of miles away. And NASA scientists eyeing regional dust storm on Mars. Yeah, I've seen regional dust storms on my own telescope. What's unusual about it? I mean, that's, they've been seeing them for years, <laughs> folks. That's how they know there's storms on Mars. And FDA flexes new muscles and shuts down plant. Oh, yeah. they're Basically, they're going after peanut butter and peanut products. I went out last night looking for some shelled peanuts, and uh, the cans of peanut cans of peanuts are now selling for seven, eight dollars a piece. They used to sell for a buck, mm. and you can't. And peanut butter is like the little the jars of peanut butter store brands that used to be a dollar and a half are now eight dollars a jar because the Obama administration hates peanut butter. And GOP blocks bill to give hunters more land access. Um, which basically, it, it has to do with the fact is that the hunters weren't getting access. This was a democratic means in order to protect the property from it being used for... The environmentalists wanted it seized, so they put a thing up that would allow the government to take over the property for the benefit of the hunters. No, when the government takes over the property, it's never for the benefit of anybody but the government. And satellite photo shows increased activity at North Korean launch. <laughs> yeah, and the United States basically, Obama shook his finger at him this morning. Don't you dare do that. And they, they, North, Herbie Daddy said, this is what they did. Mm -hmm. Well, they're really scared of our president, folks. And privacy groups asked Facebook to withdraw proposed policy changes. They aren't going <clears throat> to do it. Facebook is basically, they're, they're talking, they hold an encampment with other social media types, and basically, you're going to get screwed even more until... The, okay, here's one of the Democrats side with Republicans. They don't like social media and its intrusions, and you're going to see Facebook get its butt kicked along with all the others that are currently, you know, Twitter doesn't intrude as much, but Facebook is a god-awful big intruder. And man charged after dynamite joke at Miami airport. Oh, I, I, I can go back you know, a long time ago when they first started hijacking planes and blowing things up. But I was on a plane with Bob Hope, and Bob Hope was... He was sitting there joking in the airplane with stewardesses. You know, I saw that thing last night that you did on, oh God, he said, that was one hell of a bomb, wasn't it? He said, I bombed so often last night. And guess what happened? What? One of the people in the plane said, there's a man up in the front saying bomb. Uh -huh. And basically, they went to the pilot, they turned the plane around, and it's, you know, it's nothing more than Bob Hope talking about how bad his show was. But uh, there is no sense of humor on airplanes anymore. No, there isn't, especially when you say words like bomb and dynamite and things like yeah. that. And Rick Santorum opened a running for president again. Oh, God. I mean, he had no chance in hell. I mean, okay, he would have taken the conservative vote for the Republicans, but then he'd have lost the other people because this guy is so right-wing. I mean, there's no chance. He couldn't even win a Senate seat. They wouldn't even nominate him again for elected office in, in his state because he is too far to the right. So he's going to he's going to help save our name, save the Republican Party by being so far to the right that Bill O'Reilly is to the left of him. Mm. And thousands support Egypt president in a rival rally. Oh yeah. The okay. The problem in, in Egypt is they have basically everything that Obama said would not happen is now happening in the Middle East that the modernist, extre Muslim extremists are taking over, and oh, uh, oh, you know what Herbie Daddy said? He said this president is trying to—he's he, like the son that is trying to make his father realize that I'm just as good as your other brother, who was actually born with an African mother and an African father. 
it doesn't work because Muslims don't like people that aren't pure Muslims. You, they don't like half breeds. Do they call them half breeds. They call them half breed, and they. Cher did. Like Sonny and Cher did a song about that. That's right. They do not like him. He, Ma, they will never be allowed to sit at a table with the others. He, they'll they'll tolerate him, but they laugh at him behind his back. Mm -hmm. And two dead after bus crash at Miami Airport. Yeah, they, basically the thing went, it was a double decker that couldn't make it underneath the 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 system. And you know how high those things are, so how can you take a double decker through a system that's only designed for one rail, one ship? And thousands support Egypt president in rival rally. Yeah. yeah and the problem is the majority eighty percent of the people do not support the Muslim Brotherhood, but they're going to carry the election because there's no court system. The court system has now been shut down in Egypt, and the military is now under the guy's control. He is a total, complete dictator now, <laughs> and he's no longer our dictator. He's the he's the Iranian dictator. So. Ooh, and um, <coughs> shark attacks Oregon man in Hawaii. I know. That's, if there's been more, the sharks are attacking more and more often in Hawaii. They're not supposed to get over. What most people don't realize is by the beaches there is. Um, there, there's a breakwater that you can swim out to, the, which basically is close to the shore. They're not supposed to get over the top of the breakwater, but now they're over the breakwater into where the tourists are doing most of their swimming. Wait, didn't they just say that a kid got bit by a porpoise too? A dolphin? Yeah, they got bit by a porpoise in a, in a sea world. Uh, it was basically, I've never heard that ever happening before. I know, I think it was probably just they were nuzzling them or something. Syrian jets bomb rebels in Damascus. Well, yeah, Syria's going to win this war because there is no appetite for the United States to get involved in any further action in the Middle East. Uh, and what's going to happen is we're going to lose everything we have gained since World War II under this president is going to be lost. And then the big war is coming and they will blame it on him. He's got, he doesn't have George Bush to blame it on or the Republicans because he's in charge. His foreign policy is what allowed all this to happen. And he's, his history is not going to be pretty, folks. Remember, the victors write the history, not the losers. And Minnesota police officer fatally shot in ambush. No, that happens all the time. I mean, it, it was far back. My father was a police officer in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. And, you know, it just every now and then, they, you know, they'd get unhappy with an officer and they'd ambush. They'd, they'd, they'd basically single a officer out that people really didn't like, and then they'd go after him. Oh, and Obama ac accuses House GOP of holding middle class tax cuts hostage. Uh, they're not holding any tax cuts hostage. The one that's holding them hostage, he can have his cuts, but he doesn't want his cuts. He, he wants the tax, in order to be able to do what Obama wants, Obama has to raise taxes on everybody in the country. Mm. And, he, he, you know, the, and it's not going to make any difference. There is no tax cuts. There is not, a, okay. What happens is, if they go over the cliff, they're just going back to the way it was four years ago. That's all. They were paying that figure four years ago. And Obama said the economy is doing so great that they don't actually need all of these anymore. Oh, they don't? No. Oh. And a Missouri couple wins half of $587 million Powerball lottery. Yeah, and they use the numbers from Kansas City Hall of Famers. I mean, we must be able to wait over 10 minutes. I know. Well, that's what we were just getting ready to do because Amanti bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. But if you don't pay attention to the clock, you often go beyond the time you have allotted. 